All right, I think we're ready to get started here. Um, I'm doing a vertical canvas today. This is this is pretty different for me. I usually don't do this, but that's okay. What I want to focus on today is just getting some collar down. This is going to be my main focus. Uh, let me just put a little collar on these, and then I'll come here. This is all the sky there is. So I ain't really too. Let me see how dark that is. That's probably not too bad. I'm just going to get some collar down on this. This is, I, I thought this was a pretty interesting little picture. I mean, I do actually have a picture that I'm looking at, and the thing is, it's black and white. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, we can, uh, we'll figure it out. And we'll figure it out together. But I'm just getting some collar down on this canvas today. Probably take me a while to do it. These are just old boards. You've seen the thumbnail, but these are just old boards and stuff. And uh, I just kind of like these kind of pictures. I'm just taking uh, brown and whites. All I'm doing for some of this right here. And right here will be another board. Actually, I'm gonna leave that out because before I do the sky. Um, let's just go ahead and do some of this. I'll use a little darker color right here. Just kind of my palette will probably be kind of limited today because I mean there's just not a lot of color in a painting like this and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that it's just one of them paintings that just don't have a lot of color in it that's the style of this painting we like doing different stuff so this is different, but we do want to use a good mix of collars and everything we do. Like I've already got some burnt sienna, yellow ochre. I just stuck it in here. Some raw umber. We want a nice mix. This is what I'm, I'm going to keep doing this for quite a while. This is going to take me a little while. Let me go ahead and do the sky real quick. Get me a one inch brush. As I said, there, there's nothing to it. Um, just some phthalo blue, some white. There's just nothing to this sky. I don't even have liquid white on here. I don't even think it's worth putting on there. There's just nothing here. That's okay. We like a calm sky every once in a while, don't we? Put a little more blue in that. Even more than that. We can make it pretty blue. This, this reminds me of an old west building, so I'm going to assume that it's hot and dry. There's no clouds in the sky. Just a hot, dry summer day. Yeah, I try to find all kinds of different stuff to paint. Some people would like it, some people would not. That's why I use a nice variety of paintings, just different stuff. I try to please everybody. Of course you can't, but <laughs> you can try. You can't please everybody, but you can try to. That's why I'll do mountains and I'll do two or three, what I would call just normal paintings. Some people really like the mountains, and I do too, but other people want to see something else, and, this, and it's fine. It keeps me on my toes, finding something else to paint. Anyways, I'm just going to keep putting collar down. That's all I'm going to do. I may actually use this brush. It might go quick, or a different brush, but a one inch. And when I get collar all down, I'll be right back. All right, I just want to keep up on what I'm doing. I'm still putting collar down. This is going to be a lighter area. There's going to be some sun coming through here, some sun coming through here, and the rest of this here is in shadow. So it's going to be a little darker. And this is this is all I'm doing, but I just want to show you, so I don't want you to think I forgot about you. This is just taking me a while. It's kind of a slow process, but that's okay. A lot of things are slow. As long as you enjoy what you're doing, that's what counts. And I do enjoy painting. 
most people probably do if they paint. Otherwise they wouldn't paint, would they? <laughs> yeah, I've got a this is just putting the color, then I gotta go over all this and do some tuning, touching up, make it look more like wood, wood grain. Then I'm gonna put some maybe some tools on the wall. That's my plan. And all plans are subject to change, as I've said a million times, and they are. I may change my mind. I, I don't think I will, but I might. That's my idea right now. We'll see how it all looks, how it comes together. But I'm just mixing lots of different colors, yellow ochre, raw umber, throwing in some burnt sienna, burnt umber. mixing everything up lots of different colors see that looks good that's better than one solid color you don't want one solid color nothing's really solid there there's hardly anything that's a solid color if you look at it close enough very rarely will you ever find something that's solid one solid color I mean there is but not not often gonna hit the bottom here real quick this is just dirt basically from what I from what I can tell this is just all dirt down here and next to the house or house the shed or whatever you want to call it I'm just gonna place these colors it might be quicker to do it this way than take which is the way I normally do it and then take my one inch brush and just blend it all together. Take some ochre. Just mix it up. This is dirt. This is not grass. Burnt sienna. A little bit more sienna. I got plenty here. I might as well use it. Uh, brown. Let me move these paper towels. Do some brown, and then we'll probably do some raw umber, which is really dark. I'm starting to really like raw umber. It's kind of a mixture between black and brown. I haven't used a lot of it before, but here lately I have been. I think I'm starting to like it. Now let me get my one inch brush. I think this one's clean, yep. Pull this out, and I'm just going to mix these colors together. I get my painting to hold still. It's wanting to jump around, ain't it? I'm not used to having vertical paintings. I had to put a painting behind this because of my uh, my easel's so wide. This is a pretty big easel. And I had to put a painting behind it just to get this thing to fit on here. Yeah, I kind of like the way this painting looks. If I can get it the way it looks on the in the black and white version, then I'll be doing good, won't I? Yeah, that looks fine right there. Looks good. And this, I don't know, maybe I can do it with this. Go ahead and get this mixed up. I wasn't going to use the one inch brush on it, but you know what, I might as well. Might as well since I got it in my hand. Speed things up a little. Won't it? These are bricks. Bricks are stones right here. This is bricks of stones and that's wood. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. 
finish doing that and then I'm gonna do a little bit up in here and then I'll bring you back and show you all right I want to show you what I'm doing here I'm working on these stones and I've done this before in other videos but in case you haven't seen it these are finished these are not these are flat these are not let me show you what I'm doing here I'm taking a little bit of black I'm using small brushes this is a number one and hopefully you can see this I'm going across the bottom of each stone and the bottom left corner and I'm going about halfway across I'm using black the Sun is coming down this way this is giving this a shadow effect now, this takes time I will say <laughs> this ain't quick going across the bottom just like that across the bottom of each stone and the bottom left corner is black let me do a few more and then I'll show you the show you what I'm rest of the, what I'm doing here So each and every stone has to be done this way. One more. I'll do this big one right here. Let's see, I got about five or six there, I think. Let's do one or two more. This one right here. Okay, and then I am taking a different brush. This is also a number one. I'm using pure white. And I'm going to start in the upper right corner and put some pure white on it. This is wet, so this is this is all going to mix. Of course you gotta wipe it off every time. Pure white in the upper right of every stone. Just keep doing this. This gives it a dimensional look and it's and it's not flat. I mean that is flat. And that's not what you want. This painting is still pretty wet. It's even hard to get this white to stick, but that's okay. We're going to do it anyway. It'll stick if you make it. Sometimes you have to force it on there. put a little bit more on this one and then I'll show you what else I do with them see I think I got all of them just a little more right here then I am taking another brush this one is is really clean and I'm just I'm just blending it really lightly touching it and I'm just just kind of blending it a little bit very lightly very lightly touching and that's and that's it so here's a big difference between these and that and that's that's what I'm doing I just wanted to show you show you what I'm doing and how to do it and I'm gonna keep working up all right let me catch up on what I'm doing here I did some slow work and that's why I did it off camera because it's methodical and slow put a lantern here this is called a mowing scythe cut weeds with it for all you city folk out there that's called a mowing scythe 
and you got an old wagon wheel and I put a couple rocks down here and I'm going to go ahead and start working on some of these rocks I figured it needed some rocks in it just looks like a painting that just needs rocks some paintings need rocks this looks like one of them and so I've decided to put a few of them in Yes, I think his painting is turning out pretty decent. I like it. I mean, it's it's my kind of painting. It's an old, old rough-looking rustic shed or building, whatever you want to call it. I like it. It's my kind of painting right there. Let me go ahead and put some more collar in these rocks. Take some burnt sienna, a little bit of ochre. It'll kind of match match the surrounding stuff here. A little bit down in here. A little bit here. And of course, some right here. You find me a darker brush. When it's up, when I say darker, I mean one has got black on it, basically. Let me take some of this Prussian blue if I can get any. It's it's sat overnight, man. It dries so fast. And let's just go ahead and put a little bit of something down in here. It's like a shadow. Something along the bottom here. Help define where these rocks are sitting. Yeah, I love paintings like this. I just love rustic, rustic stuff. And that's definitely what this is.